you may have actually been silenced yourself to some extent, you know, by people in power, such as George Soros, such as the Rothschilds, such as the Bambals, all of these people in high positions of power. Destiny, a kid who hijacked VJ acceptance speech was on Twitch today. 30 minutes back, but yeah. Would if he had the opportunity, would he need him? You know, of course, if I had the opportunity, you know, I'm obviously not a assuming that would be a truthful message. Okay. Am is this his real voice or is he faking this? Hopefully, uh, Bill Clinton will reach out to me and we can meet. You know, uh, sometime I will shake his hand and uh, okay. I will, you know, touch the top of his head. Okay. That's all I had. Thirty minutes. Um, okay, yes. I'm gonna. There's a guy that I've got scheduled to come in and chat with. Do you know the guy who went on stage during some game award and did said some weird shit? Nope. Okay, I don't know why, but I agree. I saw like a guy. video of it or something. What did he say? Hey, Martin. You know, real quick, I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my reformed orthodox rabbi bill clinton thank you everybody what 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 wait what all right what, what? is that a tr mm. i don't i actually i don't even know i don't know how long this chat is gonna be <laughs> i don't even know why we're talking actually i have literally no idea hello Who Okay. Matan. Matan. Hello, how are we doing today? We're doing okay. Wait, are you doing the accent? Are we really, are we really gonna do that one? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know if it's his real voice or not. Actually, okay, whatever, we'll do it. I speak with you, uh, Stephen Goranson. Very excited. How are you, um, well, what'd you, uh, what'd you reach out to, uh, chat about? You know, I just wanted to have a, you know, a good, you know, conversation, uh, you know, I've watched some of your previous streams and, you know, I think, uh, I have a few things I would disagree with you on and maybe just have a, a good talk with you. Sure. Where are you, uh, where are you from? Uh, California. Is that, uh, what's your, uh, what's your first language? English. What's your second language? Wait. I feel like it's Hebrew. I'm shit. Shut that. up. <laughs> Stop. I'm, okay. Wait, is it? What is your second language? Uh, you know, I don't really speak Hebrew. I understand a little bit, but that's it. I don't really have any second languages. I'm Jewish, though. Of course. Okay. Um. Well, okay. So, what? It, hit me up. What do you want to chat about? Right. You know, uh, I, I I saw a part of your debate uh, the other day, and I I was very interested in what you were saying about. Uh, with Sneeko, you were saying that the governments, you were disagreeing that there's actually, you know, a group of people controlling all of the governments all over the world. Yeah, or like if you believe that, I feel like you probably need some exceptional evidence to uh, prove that, yeah. Right, you know, I feel for the most part it can kind of be proven, and I feel like using, you know, common sense and logic, it should be uh, very easy to prove. Well, you know, for an extraordinary conspiracy, I think we're probably going to need a little bit more than common sense and logic, but hit me up. Give me the most logic you've got. Right. You know, we can obviously look at, uh, you know, actual data and statistics. And I just want to say that obviously, you know, I'm not saying this that all of the Jews are the ones running it. I think there's just a lot of people in general before anybody jumps to anti-Semitic conclusions. But I think for the most part, you know, we can look at uh, governments like China. We can look at uh, the United States. We can look at RAG. We can look at all of these, uh, all of these things, and we can see that there is a clear thing going on at certain times where they will all make certain laws and certain arrests that will match up with each other. Well, isn't there also a chance that if people are making a lot of laws that match up with each other, maybe those laws are a good idea? For instance, a lot of countries around the world have laws against murder. Maybe it's just good to have a law against murdering people. Right, but what I meant is that there were laws being changed at specific times that matched up uh, with other laws in different countries. And that's just one of the things. There's many other things that I can prove it. I'm just saying that in general, you know, there's a lot of weird things, different types of governments all having laws that don't align, uh, you know, with their own government. Can you give me an example of one such law? Like, what's a law that you think is, like, really weird that multiple countries passed? You know, I think, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, United States passed a law. Uh, I think it was something to do with the economy and in, uh, in railroads. They passed a law, I think, that it made it illegal 
for any train to go over 300 miles an hour due to uh, you know the climate change effects. You know, China had actually disannou- uh, disavowed that. Then very soonly after, they actually made a very similar law, and then they went uh, they went back on their statement. And I think that uh, that was a lot of people started to get into it because when you asked the actual president at the time, uh, Xi Jinping, he couldn't really give a satisfying response, and he kind of just said that there's people who think that the law should be good, and that's why he made the decision. Is this just like Bizarro Zerka? I don't know. Um, I don't see any. What is a recent law passed in the United States that limits the speed limit of trains? I don't think there was a. I I think this was about uh, like eight, nine years ago. I think it was right at the end of Obama's term. Yeah, I, I, I don't think this was like a new law that got passed or anything. I've no, I, I haven't heard this before. Right, so obviously there's that, and then a lot of people will just say that, you know, I don't want to use the common sense logic or anything like that, but can you necessarily prove to me that there's not? Well, I can't prove a negative, right? If you're but being, that's not... If you want to be logical and rational, then we don't ask people to prove negatives. If you're making the claim, then the onus is on you to provide the evidence for such claim, right? You know, I think for the most part, I would disagree with that. You're saying that we cannot prove a negative. But if we if we look at other things, I think it's pretty clear to prove a negative. If you say that yesterday I was killing somebody at 8 p.m., obviously that can be disproven. I can show you where I was at 8 p.m. But you can show me clear evidence, you know, that uh, the governments are not all being controlled by a certain cabal. Um, even if it was, even if your hypothetical was true... Um, you wouldn't be required to show that evidence unless I had evidence of you killing somebody, right? Like, I can't just go to somebody and say, like, oh, were you killing somebody yesterday? Give me an alibi. And if you're like, oh, shit, I can't. It's not like you're presumed guilty, right? I would have to provide some evidence that you were killing somebody. Otherwise, we would assume you were innocent, right? So the, the burden is still on me to provide proof for something. Just because you don't have to disprove something doesn't mean it can't be disproven. There's a lot of stuff that could be disproven. That, but, but I mean, like, you're the one making the claim here. And part of your claim is, I imagine, going to make it hard for me to disprove it because you're saying these people operate in secrecy and everything. Um, of course. Yeah. Else could they all- well, I, I mean, I don't know, but if people on the internet have figured it out, probably they're not doing too good a job of hiding it now. <laughs> you know, there, there, a lot of people say that if they're operating in secrecy, then why is a certain group, you know, talking about it becoming a lot more mainstream? But I think that if we look at it logically, you know, there's been other times in past governments where, you know, very similar things were happening for a long period of time, and then a certain, you know, certain people actually exposed it. And I think that if we look at it again from a logical standpoint, you know, with all of the laws being changed at once. Yeah, you but know, we said all of the laws being changed at once. I don't think we've pointed to a single law that I, I don't know what you're talking about with the train thing. I can't find anything about the train thing. I, right, I, think, well, I think we're going to need an example of some of these laws. It's good to if we want to use like facts and logic and shit. We should start with like facts, like well, what happened. Right, so obviously I mentioned the one with the train where, uh, you know, the U.S. actually outlawed 300 mile per hour plus trains because they believed that due to the underground systems, you know, it would kind of uh, cause a huge problem with climate change. And I think that if we're looking at this, again, yeah, I don't... You're I don't, repeating this fact, but, like, I've, I've never heard this before. I, 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 like, can you... But that's you, not you, my you, problem. You. Well, but, well, but it is your problem because you're giving me... Like, if I were to point to, like, a specific piece of legislation that I didn't like, I could say, oh, the United States passed the Patriot Act after 9-11. Or, oh, I don't like that Obama did stuff with health care when he passed the Affordable Care Act. Or, I don't think Biden's... Um, the um, infra- the uh, uh, Inflation Reduction Act. I don't... Like, I can name these specific acts. If I'm going to make a claim about a particular act, of course... Oh, you want you, the name? I thought... Uh, I can give you the name as well. Yeah, what's the name of the law? The Charmoni Act. Can you spell that for me? S. S. H. H. E. R. M. O. N. I. Rambal. And an act. Hey, Rambar? No, no, no. S. H. A. R. M. O. N. I. And an act. I, I, yeah, I don't know what I don't know what this is. This is in the United States. I don't, I don't know what you're. <laughs> right. So that that actually I think it was passed in 2013. I'm just looking at some of my notes here, uh, but you know if we can actually again, you said that you can't uh, disprove a negative or prove a negative or whatever. But I would actually disagree because 
if we're looking at it from a certain uh, standpoint, obviously sometimes there can be clear evidence showing you that obviously at that time, you know, I wasn't there when the guy was murdered, so it couldn't be me. And obviously you are, uh, you know, found uh, innocent until proven guilty. But I think for the most part, you know, you can't disprove a negative. You can just kind of deny it and if you're in, with enough confidence in doing so and believable enough, you can do it. And I think that you're not so confident to do it, which is why you haven't been able to make a clear statement that has kind of disproved it in general. Can you give me an example of a piece of evidence I could provide to you that would disprove this? Right. So obviously, I think depending on how confident you were, it would just get, kind of give everybody you know, more satisfaction with it. I think that a lot of the time you don't seem exactly confident in your answer. And I think that behind your act, you actually do believe a little bit in what I'm saying. And I think that maybe, you know, I could be wrong on this. I don't want to start any conspiracies. You may have actually been silenced yourself to some extent, you know, by people in power, such as George Soros, such as the Rothschilds, such as the Bambals, all of these people in high positions of power. Maybe, you know. Right. So obviously we can look at that. And I think that's kind of why you don't have a sense of confidence when you deny these claims, which can obviously disproving or proving a negative, however you want to term it. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah, a good point. I, that is a good point. Yeah. You know, what am I? Can't really say much about that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So you agree with me that, you know, you are essentially right now doing a call for help. Um, you know, if I was, I wouldn't be able to say that, right? But are you agreeing that you are hinting at it? Cause well, I can't tell you publicly if I am, right? Like Soros could be watching right now, you know? Right, obviously Soros could be watching, but I think he has uh, more important things to deal with, such as, uh, you know, controlling all of the banks. You know, a lot of people have actually said it's the Rothschilds controlling the banks. But I think that, you know, more commonly, it's actually the Bombals controlling the banks. We can look, they have a history of controlling Roman banks, mm -hmm. uh, controlling uh, Grangal banks, controlling, you know, Italian banks, controlling all of the European banks, you know, mm -hmm. now the United States. Uh, banks, you know, since, uh, you know, 1200 BC. For sure, dude. Yeah, true. Right. Mm -hmm. So are you, I, I'm a little bit confused. Are you agreeing with what I'm saying? Um, well, you know, I'm not really at liberty to say if I am or am not, so. I'm not saying that you are, like, you know, under anything right now. I'm just saying, are you agreeing with me that, you know, a lot of these banks are currently being controlled by organizations that, you know, kind of control all of the money in the world, such as the Bombals, the Rothschilds, you know, George Soros, and all of those type of people. You know, they might be. I don't know, man. I, I'm not. I'm not really but at liberty to discuss that. You know. You have previously denounced it, said that you don't believe in it, but you seem a little bit less confident when I'm bringing up the names. Mm -hmm. You know, the actual legislatures passed in all types of countries all over the world. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. You know. True. Okay. Do you have anything else for us? You know, I, I think for the most part, you know, uh -huh. that, that could be it. I thought maybe it would go a little bit uh, deeper, but I, I guess if I just want to uh, agree with me, obviously that's fine. I think I've seen some of your other takes. Mm -hmm. You know, there is, you have a lot of interesting ones. But I think obviously, you know, I think with uh, specific things, specific topic, we are kind of done, obviously, if you agree with me on it. Yeah, well, man, it was a uh, it was a fascinating conversation. I'm glad we got to uh, you know figure this common sense position out. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for everything, really. Uh, you know, have a good one. Have a good birthday, and uh, you know, I'd love to talk with you in the future, depending on the circumstance. Okay, gotcha. Well, hopefully, in the future, I'll be uh, at freedom. You know, have more liberty to discuss things more openly. But we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. Have a good one, uh, Stephen Goranson. Yeah. Oh, that was a good waste of time. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting.